Test, test. Now we're testing, talking. Testing, testing. One, two, three, right. Happy Sabbath, Israel. My name is Brother Roland. Uh, my reader today is Brother Paul. Yes, and we teach by subject and title here at the Israel of God. And the title of our lesson today is The Seven Trumpets of God. The Seven Trumpets of God, brothers and sisters. Today, we're going to deal with a little end time prophecy. When I'm talking about these seven trumpets, and I'm not talking about no uh, septet, no seven member band, right? I know a lot of musicians out here. <laughs> we're talking about, and I'm not even talking about uh, one day, because we're going we're gonna to get a name for this period called for the seven trumpets. We're going to get a name of that, and a lot of people, this world has confused it up to a certain date. But we're going to understand that this seven trumpets is going to represent a period of time, brothers and sisters. And it's a time that you don't want to be caught up in. And even before this time happens, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on before that that leads into that. So we wanted to uh, start this lesson. We're going to start in First Peter. Uh, oh, my bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> when we start the lesson, we're going to start in First Peter. What we're going to do now is get the command. Let's go to Exodus 20. Exodus, the 20th chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. We got to read the law. Must needs read the law. Exodus 20 and verse 1. When you get it, brother, let's read. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them mm. that hate me. Go ahead. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Mm. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy maidservant, nor thy maid man, uh, maidservant, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Mm -hmm. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Yes, sir. Let's go to Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. Let's pick up at verse 13. Read, brother. One second. Oh. Hmm. Ecclesiastes 12, and we're going to pick it up at verse 13. Go ahead. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Go ahead. For God shall bring every work into judgment. With every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Yes, sir. Uh, some evil works. Every. Every. Okay. <laughs> Revelations 22. And we're going to pick up at verse 14. Revelations 22 and verse 14. When you get it, brother, let's read. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. And may enter in through the gates into the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth 
and make it for life. Yes, sir. So it says blessed. A lot of people blessed today, but the book say blessed are they that do what? Do his commandments. His commandments. Yes, blessed are they that do his, his commandments. commandments. So brothers and sisters, we read the law every Sabbath. Uh, and this law is good for all men. And, uh, and we read Exodus says he was speaking to the children of Israel. And we read Ecclesiastes, he said, the whole duty of man, he didn't say the whole duty of Israel, the whole duty of man. And then the revelation says, blessed are they. They include the creation, brothers and sisters. Blessed are they that keep his commandments. So you do that, your skin color don't matter. The Lord is working about what's on the inside, yes, sir. right? That's going to determine where you're going to be on the outside, right? So, like I said, we teach by subject and title, and the title of our lesson today is Seven Trumpets. This end time prophecy, brothers and sisters, look, end time prophecy. And we're going to start this off in 1 Peter 4, 1 Peter, the fourth chapter. And we're going to pick it up at verse 7. Verse Peter 4, one verse. 4 and 7, because we talk about end times. Read, brother. But the end of all things is at hand. Uh huh. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. You hear that? He said, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober. We got to stop being drunk off all these doctrines, brothers and sisters. You got to stop being drunk off your own thoughts, brothers and sisters. And be obedient to the word of God. Yes, sir. What you feel, how you think, it does not matter. No matter how that sound may sound to you, it's, it's going to be better than what the Lord is going to tell you. Right? He said, watch and pray. Right? We can read another verse that said that you're not entering into what? Temptation. Temptation. I was going to be some saints, some people sitting in the church on the Sabbath day all this time and still going to be in that lake of, in that uh, tribulation. We finish that? Yes, sir. Watch and pray, brothers and sisters. Therefore, be sober and watch unto prayer. Let's keep moving. Isaiah 34. Why? Why do I need to watch and pray? Because the world says Jesus loves everybody. He's going to come back and love you. Isaiah, the 34th chapter. Watch and pray. Why? Let's see. Isaiah 34. Pick it up at verse 1. Read that, brother. Come near, ye nation, uh -huh. to hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all the things and all things that come forth of He's it. He's not just talking to Israel. He said all nations and let the world hear. Unfortunately, the world got their ears stopped up. Don't you have yours stopped up? Read, brother. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. Israel. All nations. All nations. The indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. Go ahead. And his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Their slain also shall be cast out. Mm -hmm. And their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. And the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Man, we can read in another place. There's going to be blood up to the horse's brow for 200 miles, brothers and sisters. How wide is that? 200 miles. It could be this wide, 200 miles. That's a lot of blood. Up this high, this wide for 200 miles. What is this, what is this side wide as a street? People don't tell us about the destruction that the Lord is going to bring on this earth. Get, out your, get off yourself, brothers and sisters. Read. Four. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved. Mm -hmm. And the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. Yes, sir. And all their hosts shall fall down uh -huh. as the leaf falleth from off the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree. He's talking about the host of heaven. We're talking about what? Sun, moon, and stars, brothers and sisters. The sun, moon, and stars. And it's only going to happen one time. We're reading it here. We're going to read it some more throughout this uh, lesson today. That's going to happen one time. And what that is going to do, it kicks off the day of the Lord. 
That's going to be right before these seven trumpets. Right? Read, brother. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Huh? Read that again. My sword shall be bathed in heaven. Go ahead. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Because the Lord is going to say, we can read another place, he's going to say, who is this coming from Basra with dyed garments? He not already left there before he even meet the angels in the air. Better read this book. Some people getting there too soon. Read, brother. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. Huh? Read that again. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. Go ahead. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. Cause the reason the Lord come, another reason the Lord come, he going to settle who land it is over there. We're going to find out about that. He's going to tell us that to hear in a second. But he's going to settle whose land that is. And then we're going to find out if those are the people or not. Read, brother. Skip for eight. No, read that through. Okay. Tell them who it is. Okay. And the unicorn shall come down with them. Uh -huh. And the bullocks with the bulls. And their land shall be soaked with blood. And their dust made fat with fatness. Go ahead. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance. And the year of recompenses. For the controversy of Zion. So it is the day of the Lord's vengeance. The day of the Lord, brothers and sisters. That's another name for the period, that period of time where them seven trumpets going to be blown. The day of the Lord's vengeance. The Lord said, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. And I tell you what, Israel, your little attitude and all that pump you do can't compare to what the Lord's vengeance attitude. Well, he's going to do his vengeance. So we want to make sure we stay humble so we can stay in the Lord's good grace because during this time, it's two ways to be here. During this time, the day of the Lord. And we're going to read those a little later. But you want to be at least one of those. All right? Oh, yeah. Verse 9. Read. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. Mm -hmm. It shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. You don't want to get caught up in this. That's why he said watch and pray, brothers and sisters. Skip down to verse uh, 16 and read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Huh? Do what? And read. Seek out the book of the Lord and read and do. Because many quote, but don't do. Blessed the man that readeth and do the things in this book, yes, brothers sir. and sisters. Not just quote so you can promote yourself. Right. The Lord will have you in this during this time doing some promoting for real for yourself. Find that over. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Yes, sir. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. Yes, sir. It's going to happen the way he had it written, brothers and sisters. His word will not come back void. Read, brother. And he hath cast the lot, the lot for them, and his hand he hath, he hath divided unto them by line. They shall possess it forever. From generation to generation shall they dwell therein. That's where you want to be, brothers and sisters. You want to be in that number right there. In that number from generation to generation, they shall dwell therein. Right? So, let's get into this. So, before the trumpet sounds, you have six seals being opened. The seals kick off the great tribulation. We don't, you'll read it in the uh, Bible, 42 months, 1260 days, or time, times, and the dividing of times. All of those talk about the same period of time, brothers and sisters. And that sun turning black, that moon turning to blood, that kicks that off, and that's that sixth seal, when that sixth seal is open. And that's right before them trumpets. And so let's look at that. Let's go to Revelation, the sixth chapter. Revelation 6. Make sure you read 
Revelations 1, I mean 6 and 1, they're going to go through all the seals. But that's another part of the lesson, uh, another lesson right here. That's going to deal with them seals. But let's get to Revelation 6, and we're going to pick it up at verse 12. We're looking at that sixth seal right here, the sixth seal. When you get it, brother, let's read. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, mm -hmm. and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Yes, yeah, so we see right here it says that six seal was open, the sun turned black, the sackcloth, and the moon became as blood, and the stars fell from heaven. We just read that the host of heaven going to dissolve, right? So we see this is talking about one period. This is only going to happen one time, brothers and sisters. One time, you're just going to hear it throughout the Bible. Why? Because the prophets are subject to the prophets. They don't yes, come sir. with something new and then another prophet come with something different. <laughs> yes, sir. They're going to tell you the same thing. So, read, brother. 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Uh -huh. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bond man, man, and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Hold up now. It's in the Bible. Sun gonna turn black, moon gonna turn the blue. They're gonna scroll back, right? Why are the kings of the earth and the great men, the rich men, the captains, why are they hiding in the rocks? Don't they love the Lord? <laughs> Ain't Jesus on their mouth 24-7? In God we trust, right? But we're going to see what they're going to say, brothers and sisters, because we fight not against flesh and blood. That's what you got to get out of. Y'all look at each other sometimes. But it's principality, spiritual weakness in high places. Yes, Let's see what these men are going to say, brothers and sisters, when they see that sky pop open. Go ahead. And say it unto the mountains and rocks, fall on us. And hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the oh, so they know it's the Lamb? They don't believe in Star Wars now? <laughs> so they know it's the Lamb and say, hide us from him. <laughs> right? You have to be terribly wicked to tell the mountain to fall on you. But the unfortunate, you can't even hide from God right there. He's going to wake you up. Smashed up in everything and throw you in that leg of fire. <laughs> you can't get away from him. We finish that? Uh, verse 17. 17. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? This is a great day, but this day is a period of time, brothers and sisters. It's not a 24-hour day. It's a period of time, the day of the Lord's vengeance. Right? So, let's Keep moving. Let's go. Let's see this somewhere. Let's go to Zephaniah. Let's go to Zephaniah. Because he said, watch and pray. Now, you got to be worried about some of this right here. The world is not preparing us for the coming of the Lord. Zephaniah. Zephaniah 1. We're going to See what the prophets kind of describe this day. The prophet's going to describe a little bit of this day. So we get an understanding why we got to watch and pray. Zephaniah 1, let's pick it up at verse uh, 14. 1 and 14. Let's get another name of that day. Go ahead. The great day of the Lord is near. The what? The great day. The great day. Oh, the great day of the Lord is near. <laughs> Be careful. His ways are not your ways. That's right. His thoughts are not your thoughts, brothers and sisters. The great day of the Lord is near. Read. The great day of the Lord is near. Mm -hmm. It is near and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there oh. bitterly. Whoa, we just read that, didn't we? Yes, sir. Are the prophets keeping up with the prophets? 
Yes, sir. Why do these people now want to say something that ain't in the book that the Lord told them? Contrary to what's written, right? Yes, sir. Read, brother. That day is a day of wrath, mm -hmm. a day of trouble and distress, yes, sir. a day of wasteness and desolation, mm -hmm. a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. How is that? Tell me, somebody explain what thick darkness is. <laughs> it's, it's thick. thick darkness. You got to, you can feel it. <laughs> thick dark, not just darkness, but thick darkness. Man. This is the day of the Lord, brothers and sisters. It's a period of time. Yes, sir. And people think they're ready for this. Y'all better get yourself ready for this. Read, brother. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. Yes, sir. A day of the trumpet. The name of this lesson is the seven trumpets. Read, brother. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord. Because they did what? Sinned against the Lord. You let some man tell you that the commandments are done away with. And you don't mess around and get caught up in this. Because the Lord said he's doing this to those who had did what? Sin against the Lord. And sin is a transgression of the law, brothers and sisters. Read that, brother. And their blood shall be poured out as dust, mm. and their flesh as the dung. Read, brother. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Uh -huh. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land. Mm, he said his name is Jealous, didn't he? Y'all see where y'all get a little bit of y'all jealousy from? You can't get jealous like him, though. You see what happened when he get jealous? You can't even stack up your chips right now, as y'all say. I'm going to stack my chips up so that I can pay the Lord to get in there. No, you can't do that either. It won't work. You better make sure you're investing in the right thing right now. You better make sure you have some oil and don't be up there when the Lord come ain't got no oil in your lamp. And then you have to use that money to go try to buy some more. But it may be a little bit too late, brothers and sisters. We finished that? Yes, sir. So the great day of the Lord, we got an, another name for that, right? The day of the trumpet. And it talks about a day of distress, wasteness, desolation, darkness, gloomy, even thick darkness, brothers and sisters. It's a time you don't want to be dealing with. Amos 5. Amos 5. Some people say, man, I, I, I'm looking forward to the day of the Lord. That's somebody who don't know about the Lord. Amos, the fifth chapter. Amos 5, and we're going to pick it up at verse. Those who think they want to be in, I heard a brother tell me he want, he want to be in a tribulation. He want to deal with it. He want to do that. And he got knowledge. Not, not enough. He got wisdom, but he got some knowledge. Knowledge comes from reading, brothers and sisters. That's all they Knowledge just comes from reading, Right? When you get that wisdom, then you know, hey, that dude, fear the Lord, he's going to start doing what's right. Right? Amos 5 and 18. Amos 5, and we're going to pick it up 18. But those who seek the day of the Lord can't wait till it come. Let's look at the book say. Read. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Uh -huh. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. See, it's thick dark. He said the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So woe unto you who seek the day of the Lord. Because he said, what? What is it for you? What end is it for you? What end is it for you, the day of the Lord? A day of thick darkness. You can't see it at night. You can't see it in the dark. Read. As if a man did flee from a lion uh -huh. and a bear met him. Oh, you running from a lion and a bear meet you. This is what the day of the Lord is described <laughs> as. You running from a lion, not the one in the zoo, the one out there on the savannah. You running from a lion and you run into a what? A bear. Yeah. Read. Or went into the house and leaned his hand upon the wall and a serpent bit him. Then you run into the house. Tied, lean up on the wall, and a serpent, that's a snake, brothers and sisters. He bites you. That's a serpent 
He bites as a snake, not Satan. Every serpent ain't Satan. Right? And a serpent bites you, you running from a lion, running to the bear, running, from, running to the house, put your hand on thing, and a serpent there. That means you. there's no escape. That's what he's trying to explain to you. There's no escape. And then guess what a serpent going to do? Kill you. What that bear going to do? And what that lion going to do? Is it going to be a smooth, quick death? No, sir. The Lord is trying to get your attention, brothers and sisters. He's trying to get you off yourself so you won't be distracted. Read. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness uh -huh. and not light? Even very dark. And no brightness in it. Ain't no brightness in it because guess what? He said that in, in uh, Genesis 1, he put the sun in the sky to bring light onto the earth. And then he put the moon in the sky, lesser light to rule the, rule the night and a greater light to rule the day, right? If they both black, what's gonna happen? what you got down here now? Thick darkness. We're gonna be, I guess we go back to the beginning when that moved over the face of the deep. It was nothing but darkness. Because that other light still blocked. You ain't seeing that right now. Read, brother. We uh, finish that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep me right. All right. Let's go to Isaiah 24. So, who desired a day of the Lord? Raise your hand. No hands? No volunteers? Okay. <laughs> Isaiah, the 24th chapter. Because how can you get away? Can you get away? If you get caught up in that, can you get away? Isaiah 24. The Lord just described it as you running from a, a lion, running to a bear, running from a bear, you a snake bites you. You ain't going to lay down after that. Ain't no rest and slim taking me a little nap. I know. Let's see what they say now. Same type of description. Read Isaiah 24 and 18. 17. Oh, I'm sorry, 17. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee. O oh, inhabitant of the earth. You hear that? Fear and the pit and the snare. How you getting out of there? You in a pit with fear. And you got a snare in there too. You can't get out, brothers and sisters. But there is a way you can be hid. That's gonna come later. So you better you better keep your uh your ears big. Keep your ears big and your obedience tight. Read. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. Mm. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. Mm. For the windows from on high are open and the foundation of the earth do shake. You can't get away. If I get out the pit, a snare going to grab me? <laughs> I done did their work to get out. You can't escape. Read, brother. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. He is shaking this earth. You gonna move or you gonna be still? Read. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard uh -huh. and shall be removed like a cottage. Yes, sir. And the, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall. And not rise again. You see how the, you think? What you think the skyline gonna look like downtown Houston after this? You think downtown <laughs> LA gonna look like when y'all when they finish this right here? <laughs> Anybody gonna be Chicago? Is you here? Y'all talk about y'all skyline? What you think that's gonna look like? You ain't gonna see it before because gonna be thick darkness even before this. Read, brother. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. in that day. That the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high. Yes, sir. And the kings of the earth upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days shall they be visited. Hold a second. And 21, it says the Lord shall pass in that day. And the Lord shall punish the host of the who? 
The high one. And they that are what? On high. See, everybody want to be known by everybody. Don't want they abase yourself, brothers and sisters. The Lord will exalt you. You try and exalt yourself in front of in the eyes of men, the Lord will exalt, will abase you. You don't want the Lord to abase you. Man. Let the Lord exalt you. Mm -hmm. You abase yourself. And let the Lord exalt you in due time. Don't try to uh, exalt yourself now upon man. Because look what the reward of that man is, of those men. They shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in what? The pit. In the pit. That's the reward of that. Humble yourselves. Serve the Lord in truth and in spirit. Right? We finish that? Uh, verse 23. Read, brother. Then the moon shall be confounded. Uh oh, go ahead. And the sun ashamed. Mm -hmm. When the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his ancients gloriously. See that? This is that moon, sun, moon, and stars again, right? It's talking about that same period of time. It's not going to happen again. It's just one time, brothers and sisters. One time. And he said right here, and when the Lord of hosts shall reign, where? In Zion. Hold and a second. in Jerusalem. You mean not up in heaven? <laughs> the Lord going to reign on earth in Mount Zion? Yes, sir. Who lied us telling you you got the Lord going to take you to heaven? And the Lord right here said he's going to reign in Mount Zion. That's right here on earth. In Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. <laughs> Who lied? They don't get you caught up. You on Facebook who watching? Those you sitting here really don't believe. Don't just talk about the ones outside. It's going to be the ones in as well. We love to point out, but man, there's going to be some that's inside going to be caught in that tribulation, brothers and sisters. This message is for you. Right? Yes, sir. Where we at? That's all. That's it? Mm -hmm. So, let's go to... Uh, what precedes the coming of the Lord? Because we talk about them Trump is going to happen. What's going to precede the coming of the Lord? Let's see what happened when he came before. Right? Let's go to uh, Exodus, the 19th chapter. Exodus 19. I want to see what precedes the coming of the Lord. We want to see if it's something new. When the Lord comes this time, people are going to be fearful. When the Lord showed up, every time people were fearful. Exodus 19. Let's read 10 and 11, then we're going to skip. Exodus 19, 10 and 11, and then we'll skip. Let's read there, brother, 10. And the Lord said unto Moses, go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes yes sir and be ready against the third day for the third day the lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon mount sinai he told them hey sanctify the people on the first on today and tomorrow and clean yourself because the lord about to come and visit them right i got to say this because he said he'd be ready against the third day Right, so this, they can't even get Easter right. I know they wouldn't get this right. They'd have been up <laughs> next day. They'd be we ready. He said the third day. <laughs> Skip down, but let's see what happened before the Lord came. He said he's gonna come on the third day and, and visit the people among Mount Sinai. Right? Let's see what preceded the coming of the Lord to visit them. Skip the 16, brother, and let's read that. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. What? Before the Lord came? Hold on. It came to pass on the third day in the morning. Why had to say in the morning? Why did it say the third day is always daytime, just morning anyhow, ain't it? Ain't know they going, the doctor going around now? The third day in the morning? Why did you just say the third day? Why do you have to add morning on there? Because the third day also has a night as well, an evening. So just a little something, on, learning on the way to learning something. But before the Lord, there was thundering, lightning, a thick cloud, right? The voice of the trumpets, and it was exceeding loud. 
And all the people what did what? Tremble. Tremble. What happened when the sun turned black? And that moon turned to blood. They did what? Tremble. Tremble then too. They're gonna oh. tremble when that's seven of them trumpets blowing. trumpets blow on. We're gonna get to that here in a little bit. But we gotta get this out of the way before we gotta lead into them trumpets. Three, brother. 17. Yes, yeah, sir. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God. Mm -hmm. And they stood at the nether part of the mount. Go ahead. And Mount Sinai was all together on a smoke because the Lord descended upon it in fire. And the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace. And the whole mount quaked greatly. Y'all see this? This is the presence of the Lord right here. Before he came, on, as he's coming, look at the presence of the Lord. Look at all the stuff that happens before that. Read, brother. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered him by a voice. And God answered him by a voice. So I just came here to show you what precedes the coming of the Lord. And we're going to see some of that during these trumpets right here, right? That's what's going to precede the coming of the Lord, these trumpets, right? Yes, so what I want to know, well, let's go to Exodus 20 real quick. Let's see this again. Exodus 20. Go over 20 and 18. Let's see what happened after we finish reading the commandments. After they finish reading the commandments, let's see what happened right here. Exodus 20 and 18. Read. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. You see that? That's the Lord right there. It's consistent. He is consistent. And guess what? This man consistent too. They moved, they removed the far off, didn't they? You don't, you don't want to, you think you want to see the coming of the Lord. You think you do. But let's see what Job said. How can I escape this? It's a terrible time, brothers and sisters. Woe to the man who, who wants to see the day of the Lord, right? And that what we read? Job 14. Let's see what Job said. We finished that? Yeah, you want to go to 21? I didn't finish that? We did 18. Keep reading, brother. Okay. Yes, sir. Keep it tight. <laughs> I got some timers. Keep me right. <laughs> Verse 19. 19. Of 20. They said unto Moses, uh -huh. speak thou with us and we will hear. But let not God speak with us lest we die. Mm, see, we want to believe a man. We don't want to believe the word of God. Hey, hey, pastor, you speak to us, man. Don't tell me what the Lord said. Don't read out that book. Some man wrote that. Don't read out that book some man wrote that. You tell me, man. Huh? To the confusion, double-minded man, and unstable brothers and sisters. And all his ways, you tell me, don't read the book some man wrote the book. I'm a man too. Huh? The confusion, brothers and sisters. Read, brother. And Moses said unto the people, mm -hmm. fear not. Yes, sir. For God has come to prove you. And that his fear may be before your faces that ye sin not. Oh, so God come to do what? True. You proven. got to be proved too. You got to say, I love the Lord and your mouth serve his work. That only works with you in your carnal relationships. It don't work in spiritual things, brothers and sisters. You make sure you don't get them too mixed up. We get them mixed up. We think our attitude is going to work in a spiritual thing. It ain't going to work spiritually. It may work carnally, but it ain't going to work spiritually. Because the Lord got add, his vengeance, his attitude is way worse than yours. And he got something he can do to you way worse than what you can do. So what your attitude is and what my attitude is is irrelevant when it comes to the Lord, right? Y'all yes, right. with me there? Yes, we want to make sure we tight. We want to be here in this day. Keep reading, brother. And the people stood afar off. Uh -huh. And Moses drew near unto the thick darkness where God was. Good, good. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> so the people stood afar off still. And Moses went in with a thick darkness. Thick darkness again. Y'all see that? He went in that thick darkness where God was. See, God always going to give somebody his word, and you go give him that word. They're going to go share that word with him. God gave the word to Israel, and we're supposed to be going to share this word with all of the world, brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. But we failed, right? Let's see how we escape this thing. You can try this way. Let's go to Job. You think, man, I want to be in it. Hey, I want to go play the safe. I want to, I want to see. Hey, hey, hey. That, you've been seeing that blue up there your whole life? 
and that thing split and that sun gone and you think you ready for this? We got knowledge and we ain't ready to quit some of the stuff we doing now. And we think we ready to see the Lord come. The stuff that's going to happen before the Lord come right here. How do I escape this? Job 14. Let's see what Job said. There's one way you can get hid. Got a couple of options. Job 14 and we're going to one verse. No, we're going to read two. 13. 13 <laughs> and 14. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep me secret until thy wrath be passed, that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. Did you hear that? No, that you know what? Hide me in the grave till your wrath be kindled. The wrath of the Lord? We think we want to see this? Read that 14. If a man, knowledge right here. Go ahead. If a man die, shall he live again? If a man dies, shall he live again? What the world going to say? Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> what the book say, read. All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Yes, sir. You will live again in a new body that cannot die. So you best needs you do this thing right, right now, so that body can be in the right place. That body can be considered a sheep and not a goat. Because if it's a goat, it's in the lake of fire forever, and it can't die. Worms biting on you. Forever. Zephaniah, the second chapter. What about if you living? Yeah, that's what we want to deal with, right? Can you be hid if, you, if you're living during this time? Zephaniah, not Zechariah, like me. Zephaniah. <laughs> Zephaniah 2. We're going to pick it up at verse 1. If you are living, can you be here during this time? What do you have to do? Just say the name Jesus? Let's see. <laughs> Zephaniah. Two and one. Read, brother. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Go ahead. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, you can do something to protect yourself, brothers and sisters. Read, brother. Seek ye the Lord. Huh? Seek ye the Lord. Go ahead. All ye meek of the earth. He's talking about the ones on the earth. He ain't talking about no Martians. What are we trying to go somewhere else? <laughs> Seek ye the Lord, all you meek of the earth. <laughs> go ahead. Which have wrought his judgment. Uh -huh. Seek righteousness. Yes, sir. Seek meekness. Yes, sir. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. See that? Read that again, but I don't think they heard it too well. Seek ye the Lord. First, you got to seek the Lord. All ye meek of the earth, uh -huh. which have wrought his judgment. Yes, sir. Seek righteousness. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. You got to have a certain type of mentality, too. You got to seek righteousness. You got to seek meekness. You got to be seeking that. That means you're looking out. You're trying. You're walking that path. You ain't going back to the old prideful person who like, I can't be hurt. I ain't nobody going to embarrass me. Embarrass you? Go in that leg of fire forever and see if you're embarrassed. Forget being embarrassed in this flesh. We, it, brother. It may be ye. Uh -huh, it may be. Ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. I'm going to take a chance on that. I'm going to take a chance on that. I may be hid in that day. Yes, so I'm going to be obedient to the word of the Lord. I'm going to seek those things, right? That the Lord said you seek to be hid. He goes, sir, we're going to see some other ways. Uh, Revelation 12. We got some other. Lord got some stuff for you, brothers and sisters. And guess what? He ain't even got to take you off the earth. Right here on this planet. You can be here in this day. What you got to do to be here? Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. 
Yes, right? Yes. Revelation 12. And we're going to pick up at verse 13. How to escape this period of time. The day of the Lord. Seven trumpets. Read, brother. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. Yes, sir. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. So it says times, time, times and half a time. That's three and a half years, right? That this woman, if we go back and read over at 12, it'll tell you this, we know that woman is talking about Israel, right? And physical and spiritual, we're talking about spiritual Israel. Spiritual Israel, brothers and sisters. It's going to give them two great wings of a great eagle. Place of safety, what we call it. Read. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Yes, sir. And the earth helped the woman uh -huh. and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman uh -huh. and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Who we'll keep the commandments of God have the testimony of Jesus Christ. We do. And before five people, okay, four or five people do it. So we're going we're gonna to keep talking about that so we make sure everybody do that. You know, that's one thing you're going to need to have. You'll need to keep the commandments of God and have a testimony of Jesus Christ. Yes, Who want to bend it? Oh, y'all had your hands up so I, I heard every word of it, brother. Who keep the commandments? <laughs> Lord have mercy. So we learned something right here. But in here, we listen, because guess we're talking about a what? A salvation yes, right sir. here. Right? If I say something wrong, hey, y'all better listen. Y'all yes, better be paying attention. So we're talking about this place of safety right here. And then we got to make sure we understand that we got to keep the commandments of God and have a testimony of Jesus, which is the what? Spirit of prophecy. You know the things that the Lord has written that's going to come along. If you just know his name is Jesus, you don't have a testimony of Jesus. You just know his name is Jesus. And you have the knowledge to read, brothers and sisters. We got to make sure we humble ourselves to this word, right? So let's look at this one more time uh, to be here, Revelation 7. So you can be here during this time. There's a place of safety for you. Revelation 7 and 1. We just finished at the beginning. We read uh, Revelation 6 and we got with the uh, sun, moon, and stars. Let's look at 7. Right into 7. How can you be here during this time? Read, brother. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, mm -hmm. nor on the sea nor on any tree. Yes, sir. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with the, with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Four angels get ready to hurt the earth and the sea. How many angels? And y'all talking about y'all going to spit in an angel eye. Four angels going to hurt the whole earth and sea. 